is muted. We're gonna get started. So we're doing um, a few different sets today. And we're gonna do, we're always gonna do three rounds of each set. So the first one is just really gonna be sort of jogging and jumping around to get warmed up. And then the next one's gonna be um, five exercises. And then the two sets after that are gonna just be three exercises. Okay, I'll explain them all as we go. You don't need a tire. I'm not gonna use one today because I think predominantly, actually I don't know, probably half of you have one. Not sure, but if you wanna use them, you know how to use them for each exercise. Um, and I'll, I'll just remind you, um, but I'm going to do it without, just so um, people know how to do it without any equipment. Oh, if you've got something slightly heavy, that might be handy for like tricep dips, if you want to use something to dip over your head or something to uh, dip off, because we're doing some dips later. Um, <clears throat> and maybe you can add weight to something else as well to another arm thing so if you've got maybe some light dumbbells I'm not going to use anything haha <laughs> um, but you can you can add resistance that way <clears throat> all right so we're gonna do a little bit of jumping around because it's cold so first of all we're gonna jog on the spot for 45 seconds <clears throat> and then we're gonna turn that into skipping and we're gonna turn that into high knees and then we're gonna do some squats so jogging on the spot, first of all, it does feel a little bit strange to jog on the spot. At first, you do feel a bit silly, but try and make it nice and loose. Try and keep your hips nice and, um, yeah, nice and loose and give them some movement there. You don't want to feel stiff. And it is quite remarkable how just moving slightly on the spot can really warm you up. Okay, and we're gonna turn that into skipping. So pretend you've got a skipping rope, or you don't have to do that with your arms if you don't want, you can move your arms around like this. Like this, make sure you kind of move side to side and twist your feet around again, get a nice twist in the body good do, do, do. shall i sing i feel like we should have some music three two one this is the tough one you're going into high knees so i want to see your knees nice and high this is where you do start to stiffen up a bit because you kind of have to engage those glutes. Get your back nice and straight. Uh, really force those knees nice and high. This is where the heart rate gets nice and nice and high. Ooh, I'm moving around the places I do it. Very hard not to move. Good, eight seconds here. Keep it going. And three, two, one. And we're going straight into side and squat. So a couple hops to the side and squat. Good. Good. I'm already warming, warming up quite nicely. Ooh. I'm finding this quite hard today moving laterally. I'm finding it hard to stabilize. One more squat. And Pause. Okay, we're going to do all of that twice more. Okay, so. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. All phlegmy. As usual. Because this cold has never left me. 
Okay, straight into jog, jog, jog. So I hope everyone had fun last night, Friday night. First Friday night since the lockdown. I was thinking yesterday <laughs> that it had been a while since um, I actually did a class here, but it wasn't, it was a week ago. Last Saturday was our last class here. Crazy. Feels like that was a much longer time ago. But then a lot has happened since then. Good. Five more seconds. Jog, jog, jog. And then you're going to start skipping. So bounce it around. You can maybe turn it into this kind of thing. Or you get a bit more of a twist. Or you can... Yep. So last night I was on a virtual Hindu. Because this weekend I was supposed to be on a Hindu. And so we met via Zoom. And I thought it was going to be about half an hour, raise a glass. But it actually turned into an all night thing. And everyone got everyone doing shots. So that was quite disgusting. So I'm feeling slightly less fresh than I want to this morning. Good, let's turn that into high knees. So yeah, turns out you can still have silly nights with your friends over Zoom. It's not quite the same, but it was fun. Yeah, get those knees nice and high. Keep that back straight. Good. Seven seconds. Keep it going. And turn that into side steps into squat. So a couple jumps, or however much room you've got. <clears throat> I can see myself on the screen. I don't look very coordinated right now. Sorry. Good. 12 seconds. So yeah, I'm doing it in the TP today. And stop. Well done. One more round. Yeah, doing it in the TP instead of out on the grass. Because it's very windy. And I don't want uh, the wind to be buffeting in the my earphones so hopefully you can hear me a bit better because I'm in here even though it's not as nice of you okay last round of that let's start jogging on the spot hopefully everyone's feeling a little bit warmer and the heart rate's nice and high and it feels a bit less weird now jogging on the spot when we're a bit warmer Bit more used to it now. Good. Really get your arms involved. Good. Seven seconds. I keep looking at my watch at seven seconds. Oh yeah, 45 seconds and stop, turn it on to skip is also the theme. Because everything we do, we're gonna do for 45 seconds, which will be a nice treat for you all. We're used to doing things for a minute. Well, at least a minute. And also because I'm also doing it, 45 seconds will be 45 seconds. <laughs> it's not gonna be 45 seconds plus another five or 10 seconds. 
which I never normally do. Never. I like this one the best. I just feel like I'm dancing. This is basically how I dance. Yeah, I look really good. Okay, turn that into high knees. This is the hard one. Get those knees nice and high. Quite hard to do on this uneven floor. Last of the high knees, guys. Over halfway. Feel those glutes really activating. Ooh. 10 seconds left. Nice high knees all the way. And stop. And let's turn that into side hops to a squat. Hop the hop, squat. Well done. So, warm up done. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to show you the things that we're going to do. So, again, please use your tyre if you want to, um, especially for this one because that's if you've got one, it's quite nice to use it as a way of jumping. So, we're doing sort of side jump. They're not really squat jumps actually. And you can, you can squat a bit more. So one foot will be in the tire. Imagine there's a tire there, my right foot's in it. And then you're gonna jump over and your left foot will be in the tire, the other one will be out. If you're not using a tire like me, you just literally jump sideways. You're sort of tuck jumping, but to the side. Then we are doing burpees with jumps. If you have your tire, you can use that. Otherwise, burpee, and then jump forward, or jump up. But I'm gonna be jumping forward. If you have a tire, jump into it, or jump all the way over it. Then we're gonna do squat pulses. You can stand on your tire for these if you want. So we're gonna come down and pulse eight times, come back up, and then mountain climbers. So, taking that knee up to the opposite elbow and then bicycle crunches. So on our back, uh, tabletop the legs and do this. So we're gonna do each one for 45 seconds and then we're gonna do it three times. So the first one, squat jumps to the side. Ready and go, 45 seconds. Not squat jumps, tuck jumps. So just get those knees up as high as you can. Take your time, there's no rush. You can do them faster than I'm doing them, or you can do them slower. I'm doing them at quite a medium pace. Mainly because I don't want to get too out of breath. And stop. Okay, into our burpees. Ready? And go. So you guys start. I'm just saving my paper before it flies away. So you don't have to do a press up with the burpee, but you can. So if you're jumping forward like me, just sit back to start. 
if you prefer doing burpees where you come all the way down to your stomach, like onto the floor, and that, do that with a little press up. I'm doing a bit of a range. One more. And stop. Okay, into our squat pulses. So, legs a little bit wider than your hips. And down, pulse. Two, three, five, six, eight, and up. And down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And down, two, three, four, Seven, eight, and up. And up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And one more down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Well done. Okay, into our bicycle. No, mountain climber, sorry. Now. 45 seconds is quite a long time to mountain climb, so come down to your knees for a rest if you need to. Ready, go. So you want your shoulders over your wrists and you want to bring that knee up to the opposite elbow as high as you can get it. Feel those abs working nice and hard. Keep it going. Sadly, I cannot see my watch because it goes dark. Keep going. Oh, only a few seconds. And stop. Well done. And bicycle crunches. So you may want a mat. I'm going to try and do it out. It might hurt my back, but. Okay, we ready? Tabletop those legs and go. So bring your leg down nice and straight and flat to the floor. And then you're bringing your elbow to the opposite knee. If you want to turn this into just a leg thing, then please feel free. Put your hands underneath your lower back and just work those legs and your hands are supporting your lower back. Good. Keep going, got 12 seconds. This is a tough one to do for 45 seconds. Oh, hello, Jeffrey. Oh, hi. And stop. You can say hello, Jeffrey. Say hello. All right, well done, guys. We've done round one. Round one is done. We've got two to go. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, he's lifting his head. Right. So, squat, not squat, tuck, side jump things. Ready? 45 seconds. Go! I think Jeffrey could tell, um, you know, when the hard exercises are on. He comes to my aid during bicycle crunches. Good. Keep going. You've got 10 seconds. Let's try and do another few jumps. And one more. Stop. Okay, into our burpees. So, burpees in whatever way you want, really. And go.
Sorry for all my huffing and puffing. I hope you're all huffing and puffing as well. Otherwise, it doesn't look good for me. Okay, you've got one more burpee. Jump! And stop. Okay, into our squat pulse. So, feet in position. Come down and down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And down. Four. So try and squeeze the glutes and up. As you're doing this, down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, and up. And down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and up. Two more. Down. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Last one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Good work. Okay. Into our mountain climbers. Okay, ready. And go. So you can take these slower or faster, whatever pace you want to do. I'm doing a fairly medium pace. Keep going. You're about halfway through. You've got 20 seconds here. Ten seconds left. Keep it going. And stop. Well done. Okay, onto your back. And we have your bicycle crunches. Ready? Go. So I'm working on at the moment, getting all of these recordings up on the website and all members will have access to them. Um, and you can also, um, I might set up another form of permission as well. So you'll be able to look at the ones you've missed out on in your own time. Not quite the same as doing it live, but five more seconds, but you can uh, have then access to the back catalogue. And stop. Well done, one more round. Um, yeah, yesterday's class was particularly brutal. I think we've got a couple people here who did that. And can attest. It's my own stupid fault. I plan these things. Didn't realise quite how how brutal it would be. Okay, so back to side hops. Are we ready? This is our last round of this. And go. Side hops, side jumps. I don't know what I'm calling them. Good. You've got about 10 seconds to go. Let's do five, four, three, two, one. And stop. Okay. Burpees. In whatever way you want to do them. Ready? And go. I'm going to do the army styly ones. So down all the way to the floor. 
mainly because my arms are a bit too weak to do press ups right now. Save them for later because we are going to be doing press ups. <clears throat> That's not me encouraging you to not do press ups though. And stop. Okay, into our squat pulses. Okay, ready? Uh, go. One, two, three, five, six, eight. And down. Two, four, five, seven, eight. And down. And down, two, four, five, seven, eight, and up. And down, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and up. Two to go. Down, two, four, five, seven, eight, and up. Last one. Down, two, four, five, six, eight, and up. Well done. Okay, into our mountain climbers. Sorry, this is what makes me sniff because I'm because gravity pulling on my sinuses. Okay, are you ready? And go. So into that plank, shoulders over the wrists, nice and stable. And you just focus on moving those legs. Engage those um, abs. Keep going. We've got 18 seconds here. Ten seconds left. Well done. Last of the mountain climbers, yay. And onto your backs. We're gonna go into our bicycle crunches. Ready, go. Nice and steady with these. No rush to a mountain climber. They are more effective. They've done nice and gently. Controlling the legs and the arms. Oof. Good, we're over halfway. Oof. Eight seconds. Oof. Keep it going. And stop. My tummy could feel that. Okay, well done. Big set done. That was our super set. Now we've got two more sets to go. There's only three in each one. So the first one is all about the arms. And then this next one's all about the core. So, let me just check on time. Good, we're doing perfect. Right, so we are gonna do press ups. So you might want a mat for this. Am I still in shot? Yes. So I'm gonna get my mat out and put it in the middle. We're gonna do press ups and then tricep dips. And then we're gonna do a thing with our arms. I'll show you now. So the tricep dips, you can either do off a a uh, chair or a bench, a table, whatever you've got, or your tire. Um, I hate doing it in that way, so I'm going to do it with a kettlebell over my head. I might do a slightly heavier one. Um, so if you do have some weight and you prefer to do it that way, then do it that way. Then the last one, you can definitely do without weight, but if you've got a couple of light dumbbells, you may want to use them. I'm not going to, um, just because... <laughs> 
I, I don't want to right now. And I'm, I'm, you know, supporting the people who don't have equipment. So basically, you're going to have your arms out here, not down here. You want them level with your shoulders. We're going to come in, out, and press up like that for 45 seconds. So even without any weight, it gets your shoulders going really well. Um, so we're going to do that three times. Yeah. So press up, so you can do it any way you want. You can elevate your feet, you can elevate your hands, or you can just do it flat on the ground. You can have your arms wider or more narrow. So we're not going to do um, seconds here, we're going to do counting. So we're going to do, um, let's do 15 this round, then do 12, then do 10. Um, and we'll do the same with the tricep dips. And the in-out press, we're going to do about 20 because we need to do quite a few. Okay. So are we ready? This is on a very bumpy bit. Okay, so I'm going to count 15. Now you can do them up high or on your knees or start up high and then get your knees. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Well done. Okay, tricep dips. I'm going to use. I'm going to use the six. Okay, are you ready? Ah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, nine. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. There we go. Sorry for those sneaky five. I just thought fifteen might not be enough. Okay, into the shoulders. So if you want to use some weights, please feel free but we are going to do 20. So if you're holding weights, you might not be able to do 20, but you might be able to. Okay, so in, out, press. One, press. Two, press. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Halfway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Well done. Ooh, can you feel those shoulders? Even without weight, I am feeling that in my shoulders. All right, give those arms a little shaky shake. Now we're going to do 12 press-ups. I might stick to 20 tricep dips. Depends how my arms are feeling. Okay, are we ready? Round two. 12 press-ups, nice and steady. <clears throat> Sorry. <coughs> I was coughing away. Don't worry. It's nothing serious. Okay, ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, that's halfway, seven, eight, nine, three more, ten, eleven, and oh, twelve, well done. Whew. Okay, tricep dips. I'm still going to aim for 15. We'll possibly add five more. Okay, ready? Uh, one, two, 
Fifty. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, that started to burn. Ooh. Okay, and now for our shoulders. Second one of these. I'm regretting saying don't be doing twenty. Okay. It just um, you feel it so much more having done. The other exercise as well it's compounding all three together so by the end you do not need weight for this okay and in out press in out press three four five six seven eight nine 10, 10 more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one. Done. Well done. Oof. Okay, ready for one more? Sorry, I know this is a very intense on the, on the arms round. It's intentional. You're gonna hate the last round. Um, a lot of abs. Okay, actually. I mean, it's sort of all, all around here, all of the core. Right, oh, what am I doing? We're on the mat. Guys, I'm losing my mind. Okay, 10 press ups this time. You can add more if you want to. Please feel free to do more. I just thought I'd be nice and lower it each time. Okay, ready? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, last one. 10. Whew. Well done. Okay. Tricep dips. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five. Keep those elbows nice and tight to the head. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Let's do it. Five more. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Okay. Ooh. And our shoulder presses. Sort of. So remember, you don't want your arms coming down here. You need to keep them up, shoulder level. Okay, ready? Uh, in, out, press. In, out, press. In, out, press. Three, four. And try and send them really far back as well. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Well done. Ooh. Feeling that in shoulders and upper arms. Oh, this bit here. Nice and nice and worked. Okay. We're into our final set. It is all about the abs. And we are gonna go back to our 45 seconds. 
for this one. Oh, no, we're not. Mm. We're gonna we're gonna do um, and do side planks, and you're gonna hold it for as long as it takes me to do dips, 15 dips on each side. So I don't know how long that will actually be. Um, possibly about 20 seconds. I'm gonna try and take them a bit slower. So for a side plank, you can do whatever works for you. If you've got your tire, you can elevate your legs by putting them on the tire. You can just hold, you can have one, um, your top foot in front to stack, um, if you don't want to stack them. You can feed your arm through, or you can do dips, which is what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do about 15, are you 15? I think I'll do 20. I'll do 20 dips and then swap sides, okay? So do whatever you're doing. If you're, you struggle to hold um, a, a side plank for, like longer than a few seconds, that's absolutely fine. Just come down and then come back up again. So come up and then come down, come up and then come down. Cause that really starts building that strength there. Okay, so we're doing side planks and then we're gonna do boats. We're gonna do 15 boats. What should we do boats for 45 seconds? Let's do boats for 45 seconds. And then we're gonna do a plank of your choice. So I'm gonna change what I do each time plank wise. And so can you, you can do what I'm doing, you can do what you wanna do. So boats, in case you don't know, feet up here, hands can be here as well, and then you flatten your body out, and then you come back up to centre, and just do that for 45 seconds. And then yeah, we're going to plank, um, the first one might, might be like forearm with knees coming up, second one might be high with shoulder taps, um, okay, but we're going to start with our side plank. Bit scared about these. My shoulders are so achy. I don't know if I can support myself. Okay, so I'm gonna do 20 dips. You do whatever you want. Okay, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, I regret putting that up to 20 now. Okay. On to your other side. Up you come. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Woo! Owie, that was good. Okay, into our boats, boats, boats. 45 seconds. So, knees up. You can have your hands, I might keep my hands on the floor just to stabilize myself, because it's quite a while we're doing it for, okay? Ready, go. Uh, out, and out, and Good, you got 15 seconds left. And stop. Well done. Okay, plank of your choice. I'm gonna do a forearm plank and I'm gonna bring my knees up to the side. You could you do that one at a time. You can do toe taps or you can do whatever you want. You can just hold a normal plank. Okay, are we ready? Go.
Good. 18 seconds left. Five. Stop. Well done. First round done. We've only got two more rounds of those to go. And then we are finished. Time. Good. Okay. So, side plank with dips. Highly regretting these now. Do you know what? I might elevate my feet because it makes it a little bit more effective, but also it's further to go. So, it's I don't feel like I've got enough room at the moment. Might regret that. Might change that for the last round. So, get into position. Oh, sorry. Bumpy floor is really tough to find somewhere that is comfortable to do these. Okay, I'm up. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more. Left, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Well done. And the other side. Sorry, I got my back to you this time. And go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. <sighs> Makes me feel quite dizzy. Right into our bits. 45 seconds. Are we ready? Go. Move. Oh, we've got 15 seconds to go. Sorry, I'm in a very bumpy floor. It's making me uncomfortable. No excuse. And stop. You guys know how uncomfortable this TV floor is. Very bumpy. Okay, plank. This time, I might do a high plank with some shoulder taps. My arms feel like jelly right now, so I don't know if I can support myself for 45 seconds. We will see. Okay, but you can do whatever plank you fancy. Okay, ready? Uh, go. Oh, no. Sorry. Go. Stupid watch. If you're doing like me and doing shoulder taps, remember to try and keep your hips as stable as possible and keep your wrists below your shoulders. Keep going. We are 15 seconds left. Eight. Five, three, two, and one. Down, well done. Whew, last round. Last one, best one. We are gonna do side planks 
boats and plank. One more time. Okay. Gosh, that wind is getting up. Oh, that's quite nice actually. Nice breeze, cooling me down. Okay. Let's come up to our high plank and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Sorry, I kept falling off the tire because it's on a bit of a bit of a bump. Other side. Okay. Ready. Up we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 40, 50, 16, 17, 18, 90, oh, 20. Whew. Gosh, they do get tough. Okay. Boats, boats, boats. I'm going to find a more comfortable starting position. Find a nice little groove for your bum if you are on uneven ground. Okay, ready? Go! Five seconds left. Losing my balance. <sighs> Stop. Well done. <sighs> Last one, guys. What plank shall we do? Um, I know. Let's do suicides. <laughs> let's do up and down planks. So you're going to go from forearm to high plank. Well, you guys can do what you want. I'm going to have to do that now that I said it. Okay, are we ready? Ah, uh, go. Good, you are halfway. Ten seconds. Oh, one more. And stop. Well done. Whew. Really good work, team. Let's do some stretching. Okay. Let's get your legs nice and wide. Give your shoulders a bit of a roll. And you're going to melt down over your hips. Get that weight in the balls of your feet. And just bend forward. Well done. Yes, nice hamstring stretch. Loosen out your lower back. Let's take it to the right ankle. Enhance that stretch down that right side. And to the left. And back to the middle. And roll on up. Let's get some quad stretch in there. Good. 
So knees close together as you can. Hold on to something if you need to. Good. And the other one. Oop. I always struggle in this foot. Okay. Really good. Oh. Nice start to the morning. Feel nice and fresh now. Good. Loosen up those legs and let's hunch, hunch over, stretch those shoulders out. Now those shoulders have worked pretty hard today. Did a lot of mountain climbers and then all of those arms, they were, they were tough. Especially if you were good and used a weight, unlike me. Oh, squeeze those shoulder blades together and pull those arms out back. That nice stretch across the front of your chest. Front of your chest? Your chest is on the front. You know what I mean. And loosen up those shoulders. Take one arm across the body. Look over the shoulder. Feel a nice deep stretch in that shoulder. And the other one. 